let me introduce to you today uh, about Rainbow, so combining improvements in deep reinforcement learning. So what is this paper about? So let me introduce to you. So firstly, we, I'll introduce to you what is uh, deep Q networks algorithm and also the six extensions to DQN. So does it mean that combination of algorithms it will always give you better results? And uh, lastly, I'll show you the experimentation, like what users did this paper, uh, what did they do with this paper? So basically that is, uh, this paper, they utilize AI computer player. Uh, they, they created a computer player to uh, games. So what do we do now? So we see that this article, right? Like probably, I think three years ago in 2016. Huh? So it says that this Go player finally defeats uh, Google's AlphaGo after three losses. But let's see, 2019, last year, right? So is there an advancement? The advancement says uh, go, go, the Go master actually quits because AI cannot be defeated. So he, he actually chooses to retire because he cannot be defeated. So therefore, deep learning is great. So let's shall we do our survey. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Let's go. So what is deep Q learning algorithm? So deep Q learning algorithm, right? Let me try to break this down for you. Okay, so deep Q learning, right, has this function Q. The function Q over here, right, uh, is an action value pair. So for a particular given action, what a value, what the value is. So, and over here, like the first highlighted box, we utilize greedy algorithm to select the highest Q. And after that, we store the transition. So what this means is that we are using greedy to choose the highest value Q. But what does Q mean? Okay, let's move on first. So this is the loss function for this uh, deep Q network algorithm. So where R is the reward, V, V, no, that's gamma. Gamma is the discount. S is state, A is action. So uh, what this utilizes is that it utilizes a stochastic gradient descent. And as mentioned just now, we need to select the actions. And after that, eventually it gets back propagated to the theta. And after that, we, uh, we we store the transitions. So having storing the transitions, right, we'll be able to like uh, learn, uh, because it's reinforcement learning, so we'll be able to learn like the past actions, like what uh, reward or what uh, value did they uh, give. So over at the bottom here, right, you'll see that there are, uh, so how, it, how this works is that with four given frames in the past, is then uh, not in the past, with the four previous frames, then it's put through all this, uh, these few layers, and uh, which in the end will give you a Q value. So let's, let's go with an example. So this classic game, which is Pong. So Pong over here, right? So given that uh, this, what do you call it? You call it a call? Okay, the dot, okay, fine, we call it a dot. Then uh, a dot, right, is uh, going towards the right, and you are this player over here. So you are this player. So what are the actions you should do? Like, okay, for you naturally, you'll know that you should move up, but how will the, how will the computer, how will the AI actually realize it? So first is that for moving up, let's say the Q value is 1.0, and you could also remain there, and you could also move down. So how, what actions will the, what action will it take, right? Is that because it's using greedy algorithm, right? You'll pick the highest, value, which in this case is 1.0. So uh, there's a high chance that you will move up. But this is for every state. So this is just one state. So after moving up, what should you do next? That's another state, right? So after that, you will, you will run through the same process again to, give, to select uh, the next action. Okay, so this is DQN. So in this paper, right, they had uh, several extensions to this algorithm. So, or rather, that is just the base algorithm. So the, all the following alg algorithm that I'm going to mention from now onwards are all uh, extensions from that base algorithm just now. So firstly will be this double Q learning. 
So the authors actually realized that uh, using DQN itself, right, there's an overestimation uh, bias. So, so they actually decoupled the, uh, uh, they actually decoupled the, uh, what do you call it, online learning. So over here, if you to if you to compare the differences, right, from the DQN one, right, it's just that the uh, a particular Q value is actually removed from uh, the 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 the, the uh, from uh, the deciding factor. Okay, then what we have here next, right, is actually uh, this is another extension which is prioritize replay. So prioritize replay, right? In this case, right, uh, the authors actually realized that uh, there are certain uh, transitions, right? That let's say for a particular action that you do, there are certain um, things that are more memorable, like more uh, has higher higher priority to the to the to the action. So something that you should remember more, more. like for for example, if you do something, right, and something is more useful, you should actually remember it. So that's the actual that's the actual idea about this uh, prioritize replay. So omega here, right, is the hyper hyper parameter, and uh, because generally, right, D, if you use DQN, right, it buffers uniformly. But over here, we want to sample more frequency, right, from the transitions that we have more to learn from. That's why I mentioned this now. So in that case, it's actually those with the highest error. Yeah. Okay. So that is uh so that's priority prioritize replay. And next on, right? Another algorithm, another extension is this thing called dueling networks. So in dueling networks over here, right, what we want to do, right, is that we separate uh the value and the advantage stream. So in that case, right, what does it mean is that, uh, okay, because in the past, right, all we, all, we, all we get is that we, through DQN, we just get Q values. But now, now we split them into two, which is a value stream and an advantage stream. So the value is, so after that, we join them together uh, and we get a Q value instead. So, uh, as as we join them, right, we uh, we see here that we minus the mean. Why does the pointer go? Okay, the mean, the mean over here. On the the extreme right, right. So the mean of advan that those are advantage values. So it, it works as like a a regularization regularization rule. So in this case, right, uh, so that the your output values are close to zero instead. So you regularize everything. Okay. So these are the first three extensions. And we still have more. <laughs> so the next one is a uh, multi-step learning algorithm for DQN. So the purpose of this uh, multi-step, right, is that uh, you, you are actually going like to n number of steps into the future to update the Q function. So, so if you are going for you are going in advance, right? So it actually stands for like faster learning. Uh, it's it's like faster learning. So in this case, right, the authors felt like uh, this is actually useful. Not actually, the, not actually the authors. This is like a, a previous algorithm, not not for this uh, paper. Okay, so this is a previous algorithm, and also the next one will be this distributional uh, reinforcement learning. So this distributional, right? So because they felt that uh, Q value by itself, right, it may be actually inaccurate, and learning from distributions are generally like more accurate because they are less noisy, and uh, so we we'll actually learn the distribution of the returns. Yes. And lastly, we there's this there's the last one is that uh, it's called noisy nets. 
Too noisy in that, right? It replaces the greedy uh, strategy. So uh, by adding this additional like noisy uh, noisy layer, so by add, uh, adding this like random noise to the network, right? Uh, is essentially right over time the the network will learn to ignore the noise, which is actually useful because uh, at the exploration phase, right? Uh, if you are able to uh, actually ignore the noise. Of your data, you'll be really useful. Okay, so given all these six, what are we going to do to them? So given these six extensions, right? This uh, what the authors felt is that they should rojak it. So what does rojak mean? Rojak basically means okay. I think I hope most of you have actually tried rojak. Right? It's amazing with everything together, but not by indi individual ingredients. Okay, maybe, but. Uh, who likes cucumbers by themselves, right? But anyway, so if we if we, we join everything together, it, it just becomes better, essentially. But not all the time, right? But in this case, for these six different extensions, right? We roll out them together, we join them together, we combine all of them together, and we form this thing called Rainbow. So Rainbow, how, how does Rainbow work, right? Is that... Firstly, right, okay, so these are the, the, the different steps into, into getting this rainbow algorithm. So firstly, right, we uh, replace the loss with a multi-step variant. So the multi-step variant is the one that you mentioned just now, right? So by having multi-step variant, then we, uh, we utilize double Q learning, prioritize replay, and we separate the value and advantage uh, like streams, and after that, we we make them into distributions and we add noise. So basically, it's just mixing everything up together, and that's what we get for Rainbow. Okay, so here in the experiment, uh, the experimental experimental methods portion. So what the authors did is that they had fifty seven Atari two thousand six hundred games. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what their console is. Maybe it's quite some time ago. So uh, then for every of every million training steps, right? They evaluate uh five hundred thousand frames. So for, for every million steps, we evaluate five hundred thousand, and we get the average scores. So the average scores, right? They are just normalized. So basically, they get uh human experts to play the game, and they they take note of the human experts' high score. So that high score, right, is actually the hundred percent, like hundred percentile, like the normalization, uh value yeah so there's actually also two uh testing regimes so the first one is the no ops so no ops just basically means uh at the start we do nothing so it's we insert a random number of uh no ops action right so basically just do nothing like it's just a random number at the start of the of the game so, and another one is the human start regime. So the human start just basically means, right, it, they take note of the actions that uh, the human experts do, and that's how they, they start the, the algorithm. I mean, at the start of the algorithm, they, they, they just play whatever the human, action, the human actions are, actually did. Yeah. And also there's some like hyperparameters tuning, like as seen over here. Uh, okay, not some, there's quite a bit like quite a lot actually <laughs> okay so for this experiment right what do we get okay yeah so what do we actually get right is that this uh rainbow right is actually substantially better so actually mixing everything is actually seems to be actually better so essentially right if you're able to see the graph it's actually there's actually quite a big uh, gap between the the previous algorithms, like uh, all the way, like sub, because most of them are actually like individuals by themselves, right? Like, so by joining them up, actually, it's actually quite incremental. And if you were to compare the uh, the no ops and the human starts, so we actually expect like the but we actually expect like uh, by following the human experts, right? It should actually work better, right? But in this case, actually, with uh, with use with learning what the humans actually did, 
it doesn't seem to actually substantially, well, not substantially, it doesn't even work better than the no ops uh, start method. So basically, uh, AI shouldn't learn the bad habits of humans, right? <laughs> In some case. But if you're to see Rainbow by itself, right? No ops actually, uh, actually work 231% compared to the human experts. But of course, these are, these are actually the median scores of some, some of the games. And yes, let's move on first. So the next question is that, should we just combine everything? Like in, in this case, right, we could actually not combine everything, right? But what do we get for not combining everything? So if you have to see, right, in, in the... Because uh, why is my cursor not going there? Okay, anyway, never mind. So uh, in this case, we see that by removing... Okay, and let's say the, to the bottom graphs, right? By removing any one of them, right? Essentially, it will go lower. Like the results, which is, uh, the results will go lower. But in, in some cases, right? It actually will go higher as well. But in most of the cases, by removing one of the steps, uh, the results will not be as good. So this is further supplemented here, right? So for Rainbow, right? Okay, these are the individual games. So the performance drops, right? For removing, let's say, noisy, the noisy layer. Let's say in the first one is the noisy layer, right? By removing the noisy layer, then we we actually suffer quite a lot of drops for, for most of the games. But for some of the games, right? Like, uh, what this game is? Demon Attack, right? I don't know. It, it, there's, a, there's actually a grow, growth like for removing the noisy layer so it may not be true for for all but it's substantially better for most and over here is the so this is the the analysis uh the the last analysis slide that i have so over here is that with rainbow right compared to the to the other to the other like uh by removing individual uh algorithms right it it gives an overall better better score other than the yeah it's like overall it's actually better compared to the rest so this is actually a 20 how you say it's a 2017 2018 2018 paper uh, presented triple ai but uh i've actually seen that there's actually more uh, they are actually there's more more things developing and actually it's it's getting better. Like so, this is at the at this point of time it has been actually really good already. Okay, not say really good. It has been substantially good, but uh, it's actually it's actually growing. So this is the last slide that I have. So uh, uh, thank you everyone. Are there any questions?